Video Clock Story Time. Today's story is The Green Chicken. In the corner of the farmyard, two eggs lay on a pile of straw. The mother hen sat on them all day and got up only to drink water and eat something in a hurry. One day a strange big egg rolled down from the hill next to the farm. It came under the fence and stopped right next to the nest with the two eggs. Hey, someone dropped their egg, cried the hen. Come and take it quickly before it cools down. Nobody answered. There was no one on the hill. The hen wondered what to do. Finally, she pushed the egg close to hers and keep it warm in the nest. All three eggs hatched at the same time and the mother named them Chick, Chip and Chop. When they went for their first walk in the yard, everyone stared at Chop. Ha 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 ha, what a funny chicken. Look at his fluff. But this is not even fluff, but not some scaly stuff. It's all green. This is so weird. Urgh, disgusting. Although, he was a strange chicken. Chop was very determined. He tried his best to do everything his brothers did. Dig for worms, flap his wings, squeak in a gruff voice. Chick and Chip tried to help him, but it didn't work. All the animals on the farm chased and mocked him. The worst was the rooster, who constantly bit him and insulted him. What an ugly and incompetent chicken! A disgrace to the farm. He is completely worthless. No one was playing and talking to him except his brothers and mother. In the evening, after everyone fell asleep, Chop would go out into the yard, look at the sky and wish on every shooting star he could become a normal chicken. One night, a fox sneaked into the farm and grabbed Chick and Chip. Everyone panicked, feathers scattered everywhere. Help! Chick and Chip started shouting. Their mother rushed to save them, but the fox grabbed her by the throat. All the hens and chickens clumped together in the corner of the coop, and the fox blocked the way. So, three so far, the fox smiled smugly. I need one more because I am expecting guests tomorrow. Any volunteers? Take whoever you want, said the rooster cowardly, but it's best to get some little chicken with the tender meat. You won't want me, I'm very chewy. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to get. The fox began to wonder. At the moment the fox heard something behind him. It was chop. Let them go. Ah! cried the fox and dropped his prey. No! My tail! You want one more chicken? Here I am. Chop gritted his teeth. I changed my mind, said the fox. I don't want chickens anymore. Please let me go. It is so painful. I don't want to see you ever again, Chop said, still biting the fox's tail. I promise I will not set foot here again. Just let me go. 
Chop opened his mouth and the fox ran away. Chick, Chip and their mother rose from the ground, still frightened but unharmed. Wow, that was amazing, Chip shouted, catching his breath. You almost bit his tail off. Chop, you are the bravest chicken in the world, said Chick and hugged him. When Chop went into the yard the next morning, all the chickens gathered around him. We will go and play football with the ducks. Do you want to come? Well, I've never played football before. I'll just get in the way, said Chop. No problem. We will teach you. It's much easier than fighting a fox. Okay, I'll come. Chop smiled and for the first time, he felt right like a real chicken. The end. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel Read O'Clock Story Time so that the new uploads could reach you in time and do share this channel with your loved ones, family and friends so that they could also enjoy these kind of lovely illustrated stories. I'll see you soon with an amazing story. Till then, take very, very, very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.